You into sports now here tonight. The first full day of playoffs in high school baseball, softball and lacrosse. And there was an upset in Southern A baseball where 12 seeded Wyndham beat fifth seeded Kenny Bunk 3 to 2. Defending Class A champ South Portland hosting Deering here. The Rams with a chance to add a one nothing to a one nothing lead, but Easton Healy makes a nice play up the middle to get the Red Riots out of trouble there. And then in the fourth inning, Jude Charltree bunts with bases loaded. One run scores easily and then two more score when the throw to first gets away. South Portland wins it 6 to 1 and they'll face Falmouth on Thursday. In Southern A softball, Scarborough hosting Marshwood and the Hawks would take the lead in the top of the first inning when Emily Hester singles to right field, knocking in Lorelei Scheisler. The Red Storm would answer in the bottom of the inning though. Gabby Pelletier doubles to left field, knocking in Samantha Cody. Jamie Kemper adds a two run homer in the third inning, inning and Scarborough advances to the 6 to 5 win. Fifth seeded Portland hosted the 12 seed Westbrook, the Blue Blazes, with a runner on in the first, but Sadie Armstrong gets the strikeout to get out of trouble. Then in the bottom of the inning, Armstrong hits the double to left field that knocks in Hannah Hawks. Portland moves on with the 11 4 win and faces South Portland in the quarterfinals. The Class A girls lacrosse Chevrolet hosted Cape Elizabeth. Campbell DeGeorge sets up the goal by Katie Woods, and Cape Elizabeth took a early 2 0 lead. Chevers rallied late in the first quarter. Sydney Brunel scores to tie that game up at two. A few minutes later, Brunel sets up Reese Belanger for the go-ahead goal. Chevers wins 12-9. to They face Yarmouth in the next round. In Class B boys, Brunswick hosting Marshwood. The Hawks trailed 11-3 to in the third, but early in the fourth, Rogan Bosvert scores to make it an 11-6 game. But the Dragons would pull away. Finn White passes ahead to Robbie Bowen, who puts Brunswick back up by six. Minutes after that, White will assist on the goal by Gage Senecal and Brunswick wins 15 to 6. They'll play Kenny Buck Thursday. The Wyndham boys hosted Lewiston. Jack Henry passing to Blake McPherson, who catches and shoots in midair for his second goal of the game, giving Wyndham a 2-0 lead. A couple of minutes after that, McPherson passes it over to Tobias Perkins, who winds up and scores, making it 3-0 Eagles. It's the same combo again a few minutes after that, and Wyndham, Wyndham wins it 11-3. They'll face Thornton Academy on Friday. The South Portland boys travel north to take on Hamden Academy. Ian Howe scores early in the third quarter and the Red Riots took a 13 to 2 lead. Moments later, Beckett Melhorn takes it all the way himself and South Portland moves on with a 16 to 7 win. They face Falmouth on Saturday. The Bonnie Eagle boys travel north to take on Bangor. Lucas LaForest passes it over to Ben Breton and Bonnie Eagle was down just a goal in the second quarter, but the Rams would pull away. Richie Trott passes to Miles Randall for the goal. Bangor wins 14-9 and will face Cape Elizabeth on Friday. And that's sports.